Hello, how is it going? It is Fake Eric. I'm actually once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. Today, I'm going to share with you guys the best deck I had on day one, which I thought was not going to be the best. Nightfall, Diana, Nocturne, all that good stuff turned out to actually be the best deck I had, at least on day one. Obviously, the lists aren't going to be final. This is just the list I used and found the most success with. So if you want to take this list and play it, Things might change tomorrow, but for right now, um, this is definitely a very good aggressive deck that can just win games quite quickly. Like, look at the curve here. It just, it curves out so quick. So basically, for anybody who's not familiar with the Nightfall mechanic, it requires you to kind of set up your units in a way where you can trigger their Nightfall by playing cards before them, hence why we are running lots of cheap cards, including Fading Memories, which has been proving to be... Uh, quite effective in activating and for getting some extra onlookers for pushing lots of face damage This is a very aggressive deck. This is all in and you look to kind of close out the game Sometimes with Moonstalker on the elusive uh, Sometimes Nocturne can kind of get in a bit of damage. I've been finding Nocturne to be Unironically, maybe even a considerable cut, but for now it has the Nightfall synergy It kind of is a 5-3 that usually gets to connect some face damage as long as your Nightfall are out you grant vulnerability where we need to and uh, tweak things around, tweak things around so we can connect as much face damage. I've been finding cards like Mentor of the Stones to generally be just a standalone very powerful card and it usually has to be dealt with by your opponent if not, if it, if it connects once on the granting of stats it's just enough value already. It gets pretty crazy after that point. Um, Stalking Shadows keeps the gas running. This card has been proving to be just very good and it's a good activator for Nightfall as well. Um, sometimes Throughout the early game, you might get a bit of a clunky hand. You can kind of break that out by just kind of skipping your first couple turns and setting up for a powerful swing. Um, but generally, another way we're going to be closing out games quite often is with this uh, Lunari Shade Stalker. This card is low key, very insane, and just proving that elusive units are insane. Um, when we do face up against other elusive units, you know, we have the fearsome to kind of get by that we can sometimes push a little bit of cheeky lethal with unspeakable horror and doom beast doom beast is actually low key just kind of getting that reach over the top similar to like burn decks with like you know uh decimates and stuff like that so doom priest is actually unironically a very good card here we're pretty much packing most of the nightfall units i'm not currently running the overwhelm 5-3 i've been finding that to be a bit below average at least for the way i've built this list but you can of course change some cards here and there I'm um, running some of the Daybreak cards like Solari Shield Breaker and Solari Soldier strictly because they're just very powerful units and they're really cheap one drops. Card that brings this whole deck together is Lunari Duskbringer. Having this card in your opening hand makes it insane in terms of setting up the rest of your card, uh, setting up the rest of your Nightfall units that is. But yeah, outside of that, um, it's a little bit of a tricky deck to pilot. I'm still trying to work out the kinks of it myself. One thing that you do want to note is that Diana on the first time you play her, you have to Nightfall her out to get that Challenger effect. She has Quick Attack inbuilt all the time, but you have to Nightfall her out to get the Challenger. She only gets Challenger for that round too. It's after you flip her that she'll start to get Challenger as well. So just be careful for that, because that's a few, few times I misplayed with Diana by kind of um, not realizing that you only get the Challenger for the one round. So be careful of that. Um, the uh, Pale Cascade as well is a very insane card. And unironically, like uh, Diana's champion spell makes this deck have a lot of smooth uh, turns because you can just kind of like play these for cycling through your deck and don't worry too much about the fact that you might have like if you have like two Dianas in your hand just play that Dianas Pale Cascade if you have to it keeps the gas going and you keep cycling through your deck um, outside of that you look to kind of go all in um, just play your decks pretty aggressively, you know, don't try and play around too many things and then see if you can finish off the game with a Moonstalker here and there. But yeah, not much else to really talk about that. In terms of the Mulligan, it gets a little bit tricky, but um, just pretty much like cards like Solari, uh, Solari Soldier, Duskbringer, your cheap, uh, cheap units in general, Diana, they're going to be huge keeps. You can sometimes even consider keeping Stalking Shadows um, if you're versing like the more rampy deck, but honestly, Keeping the curve is great. The Shadow Stalkers can help you to... Stalking Shadows can help you set up some stuff. Find some cheap units to play. We have a good spread of units too. We usually always hit good followers from this. And yeah, just watch the games. Check out some of the examples. You'll see how it plays out. And yeah, dude, good luck on ladder, guys. I am super exhausted from today. This is probably the best Diana Nocfall, uh, Nocturne deck that you'll have to play on ladder right now. You guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to leave a like. I will see you soon. So that was pretty epic, Pega.
Alright. Been winning a lot. That's good. Keep it up, man. Like, honestly, Transplant, if you want to win, just consider playing decks that are already well refined from the last meta, like Sejuani. That's if you really want to win. If you want to play something different, keep at it. Try and find what works. Uh, he just plays that. Uh, do this. I'm happy to take that block, I think. Yeah, that's no fun playing meta like that. In the end. Then keep at it. If you're struggling to find wins with something else, you can try something else. That swing made no sense, by the way. Unless he wants to, like, chump block me. With the Lulu. But now that Lulu's in range. I'm actually just going to buff the shit out of this so I can block whatever and this can also block whatever. Zed's just like, whatever. This is kind of like pretty ideal for me, man. Let's save one of these units. I want to try knock diner, but not enough money to buy them. Oh, dude, that sucks. Well, at least I can tell you whether it's good or not. And I'm 10 and 6. It's not unreasonable. It's definitely not unreasonable. Raise your weapon, Sunwind. That's what he plays here. Do I just kind of ignore the Zed and just challenge like this? I like this. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh. He played that well. He didn't react to anything. But I can also put him into ranges of dying from just top decks now. So yeah, he did that pretty well. Sure. Skip this.
Let's grant that vulnerability in case he's trying to rally against us. It looks like he may be trying to rally against us. Yeah, this doesn't look that good for him. Go down to three. Just give up that attack on the ephemeral. That's like whatever. Then we just kill him. Let's go. Eleven and six. If I'm gonna keep facing like these fucking uh the ramp decks, I'm gonna keep cracking on with this uh, Diana deck. Damn it. This is not a ramp deck. Let's fucking, let's eat his ass. Let's eat that Fleetwood Tracker. Just stop any nonsense with Misfortune next turn against us. Doesn't matter the Fleetwood Tracker has a Feramil either. It's fine. This slows down his tempo quite a lot. And we can like, kind of get back in there. We can just like mentor the stone stuff. We'll see how we go. I could day break out Lunari this turn. Go a bit wider. Okay. This is still the play, actually. I don't think we play mentor of stones ever this turn. This kind of makes us say like, oh shit. He's going to attack for sure. So I'll play this afterwards. No one goes hungry. Sunward. This? Darkness hides in your past. Speed. Fuck. I should have swung with these two, I think. Just because like he's not gonna block my shit. Or if he does, I get to trade into him. This could be kind of interesting. I'm sort of protecting my units here. I knew Nocturne was good when I first looked at him. He's okay. Wait, just fucking, just gonna skip this entire attack. Let's just shut down his whole attack. That's pretty unrealistic. How do I make you do something this turn against this board? Made 
I guess there's no reason not to play something. I don't think I play around the next single combat really. We can give that vulnerability. Who should I drag? Should I actually do it like that? Yeah, it makes sense actually. Oh, we flipped the Nocturne. Now we have no cards left. Well, should I have dragged the Cythria maybe? Nah. No. Clear the Quinn. Take the value trade. Now I can... He can clear my... He can clear my elusive units. That kind of stinks. Not gonna lie. The simple open attack with Cythria. You know, be playing some of these old decks, these new decks is kind of cool, but not as cool as winning. I'll defend these forests to the end. Unyielding light. I have an out pretty out there though but I have an out yo oh he's scouting of course I'm a tree redeemed hydrate thanks homie late stream yeah late stream long stream just about that Okay, the out is that I need to find. Oh, I shouldn't have played this. Okay, now I have no outs. <laughs> the out was to find the unspeakable horror into fucking this and that. Oh my, that's an out. I forgot about that card. <laughs> All right, let's mess some folks up. <laughs> no slow deck. Maybe I can keep a semi-slow hand. Maybe I can keep like double stalking shadows and that can provide me a lot of value. We'll see how we do with that. Look, I have a lot of Solari soldiers. That one's the far right is ephemeral dragons. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. It's 
So I don't need to play this ever now. Like I never play this now. If I have spare mana, I think you always keep stalking shadows backed up. But I mean, the, the exception is for having a certain play next turn. I don't know if it changes his decision making, but I end the round here. Probably sort of made more sense to play some units. Probably sitting on Demacia Targon. He's got dragons to play. Go wide here. Definitely go wide. Mobilize. You're trolling. How do I make Diana do damage? I don't really. So I guess I just don't swing with her. I swing with everything else though. So. Gotta go aggressive. play an elusive she was born from the mountain. From I can't see my units you from our foes. cloaked in silver light I just full swing, yeah? Let's do that. Now I don't. Blimps there. Is it me or does Diana feel a bit underwhelming? No, I think I think Diana's pretty good actually. Not gonna lie. I think she's definitely one of the more potential champions that we've seen. She pushes the whole archetype though. I personally think Diana proving to be a lot more effective than Nocturne is for the, like the whole Nightfall stuff. Let's just do Stalking Shadows first. Grab the elusive units. Probably do a Doom Beast. Ah, uh, you, you just go full aggressive with it, Mark. You just fucking... You just kick it in their face. You full send it, you'd say. Send it. What's up, Blaska? What's up, Sims? Beast is for surprise damage, man. Yeah, you might be right. It's also for chump blockers. What's going on, baby? Just attempting, attempting to climb the best we can. Dragons. Nice. Your dragons seem pretty cool. My elusive units seem a bit stronger though. 
He can actually play a really soul next turn. But I don't think that's going to win him the game. Um, this can just be an activator for going elusive. Might as well play this one. Cool. The heavens diminish. <sighs> I think he's just dead now. Such majesty. Is there anything else elusive? I can't fucking tell, man. GG.